I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? I mean, they probably heard that noise. Let's not worry about the rescue team right now. Okay, these, these are the main controls for the roller coaster. I should be able to set it to maintenance mode from here. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit, instead of doing the normal loop. Whoa. Well, that's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Hang on. This is gonna be a short trip. We go for a little ride. Please, don't say ride.
So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh, yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Decaf! You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Stay put. Hey, Chew 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Delis. And it's jammed. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never! Decaf is M.I.A. M.I.A. M.I.A.? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Billy! You feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and... and, and Billy! And... Look, we are not leaving without Decaf. I mean, we agreed, right? Oh man, I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. Inside the chopper, now! I've got no power. I'm on it. I gotta take the other one out of the chopper first. Try it now. He's not responding. Try another one. Did, did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Good little thief. You know how to open handcuffs? So who's left? Dr. Sorkin and her assistant! 
Then we get the hell out of here! What about Decaf? Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... You know, I've seen Oscar knock out someone's teeth for a lot less. When I say teeth, I mean face. Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of killers? Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the company of killers! Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Who wouldn't? I'm surprised you can see it all with your head stuck up your... That's enough! Oh, boy. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. On my I'm ankle. gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Ryan. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. Dr. Harding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. After we lost contact, I was worried something had happened to you. We have had quite a day, Dr. Sorkin. I'll bet. Systems are down all over the damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. Fun for all. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who are you? Pleased to meet you, Dr. Sorkin. InGen hired us to get everyone off this island. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is... So look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the Predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic InGen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You heard the lady. Hey, can I help? Yeah, I'm not sure having you help is such a good idea. Uh, she needs you to carry boxes and stuff, not bring fugitives to justice. Let me help. All right, all right. Are you always such a pain in the ass? Not always. Sometimes I'm a total bitch. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Watch what happens if we don't find any food soon. I could probably get you some dino burgers. Seriously, I'm so turning the tables on the next dinosaur that tries to eat me.
Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? Trust me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charm her. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. So, who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. I'm not moving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, good. Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You want to help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. I can't tell you how many times I tried convincing him. The park should be a nature preserve. No theme park attractions, no cages. Hammond never really cared about the marvels I created for him. It's always been about the money. So how did you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Unfortunately, this isn't the first time I've encountered this. You know, Doc, I saw some bites like that on one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Look, Dr. Sorkin, we already caught one unauthorized trespasser. Who knows who else is on the island? Your life may be in danger. I'll take my chances, thank you. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. They gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. What was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, like I mentioned before, fever, swelling at the... Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. Dr. Sorkin... As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean... It's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Huh. You have a point. 
But as long as John Hammond is in charge, the animals are going to need me here to ensure that they're treated with respect. Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place, you have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Please, ma'am, if we don't get you back, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. I'll probably lose my job. Well, I don't wish that on anyone, Mr. Yoder, but I'm afraid it can't be helped. I can't abandon these dinosaurs just so you have a job. We gotta get back, because, uh, you never know, the prisoner could have a relapse or something. Highly unlikely. Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. You haven't decided. What about our patient? I'm fine. I tried to convince her to go with the rescue. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Trust me, there is a very good reason. Well, come back when you think of one. I know that you're angry and scared. And you've got to be exhausted. How's your smoke? <sighs> hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s, lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. Are you gonna do any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Don't know, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Ah. Okay, well, thanks. You've been a great help. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Wanna tag along with us? That's cool. Just give Oscar his space. Doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults. Or animals. Come to think of it, doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a Arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible, with no regard to the animal's welfare. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. Dr. Sorkin. Why do you think interrupting me is going to work this time? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. 
If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Hands. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaur's behavioral program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Trust me, sweetie. If there were any predators, we'd know. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The Parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. What do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, the uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please.
So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in. And sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side. Okay. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Well, did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man, and I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Activate the danger speakers. That's it. They're out. Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Lysine. If the dinosaurs are to have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not going to let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot 
You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! Chopper! Right now! No! Do it! Or I swear I'll take you down right now! Billy! Oscar, get over here! I'll pull you in! Mm. Come on, man! That's it! Come on! One more! Woman, she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Well, uh, no, you're one stubborn son of a hey. What the hell? No problem. You got this. Damn this thing! Now! Not gonna happen. No, not so good. Is the water ready? Yep, Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent! Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess! We did it! Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate that. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one?
Guess the old man still has a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? They must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! Here! We're down here! 